I'm not singing along. I have no idea what that is. What's crazy, bro? I'm on it. Because this is Africa. I have no idea what that is, but I imagine because of the um, lyrics that I heard, it's something to do with the South Africa World Cup 2010. Kind of rings a little bit of a bell. I wasn't. I think it was the worst World Cup ever. I think by and large, um, not because of the Vuvuzelas, they were bad enough, um, and the song wasn't great either. But maybe because of that ball. The ball for that World Cup was like a balloon. It kept. Every, all the long shots went like 30 yards over the bar, etc. England were useless and there weren't many goals scored, not many great games. I'm not singing along. <laughs> I think we all know that one. Three Lions for Deal and Skinner, 96, the Euros, and obviously re emerged last summer um, as, a, as a big hit with um, England going so well and the Gareth Southgate, etc. And I get a mention in that song when Lineker scored. So, you know, I, I love that song. It's my favourite all time football song. Obviously, only because I get a mention. That's the old that bucket of Vindaloo thing, isn't it? With, uh, was it Keith Allen? I quite like that one, actually. It's a bit catchy. And, um, and who doesn't like a bucket of Vindaloo? I actually cook a Vindaloo. Obviously, I don't, I don't know the song. Where's, where's that come from then? That was supposed to be some. And here's Lineker, onside, 3 0. That was Mexico 86. Official song. Honestly, I know that song. I've heard that song loads of times. I had no idea that was the official song, Mexico 86, which was a tournament in which I won the Golden Boot. Now, I never mention it. I very, very rarely mention that fact. But yeah, so, lo well, love that song. Now I know. Thank you. Well, that's obviously um, around an England song. Golden Balls would be David Beckham, although Heskey made it five. That would be the England-Germany reference when we beat them in Germany, when Michael Owen got a hat-trick and uh, it was Gerard and Heskey with the others. The song, I don't, I don't think I've, I've, I've ever heard it before. That's Anna Deck. Jesus, stick to the day job, boys. Good heavens, what's that? Rude Hollet. Rude, that's appalling, mate. Absolutely appalling. I can't believe I actually worked, I've worked with him so many times. I never knew he had a song out, let alone a song as atrocious as that. Rude. Stick to football, mate. Well, even me, as someone who knows absolutely bugger all about music, knows that that was Queen. We are the champions. I doubt Queen did a football song, so somebody must have nicked it at some point. Cause we are the champions. That's the same song, isn't it? Of the world. else had a version of that, did they? Who? Grindy Frog. Crazy Frog. Grindy Frog. I've got earphones on, I can't hear. What do you expect? <laughs> What's Crazy Frog? World Cup 1966. World Cup Willie. Um, he was the mascot. England won the World Cup that year and haven't won anything since. But um, yeah, World Cup winning. You might think we're sun ray in over your head. Southside, deep bed. This is life and I'm grinding till I'm dead. Fix it, DJ School. I don't know. Is that, is, is, is that about the Lineker and Baker book Behind Closed Doors, that one? Oh, God.
That's the worst song ever. I was kind of talked into it. I think it was around sport relief. And I told them, I said, listen, I cannot sing a note. And they said, no, we've got this guy who's really good. And you just got to do one line in it. And I went, I don't really want to do one line in it. I don't want to do any lines in it. I don't mind being part of the video messing about, but please do not make me sing. They made me sing. It was an embarrassment. I want to get rid of it, scrap it. Stick it in the bin. Radio X.